Hello, friends. We're back. This is King Arthur Pendragon. 5.2 The Great Pendragon Campaign, Episode 4. I am AP Gaming Real, and I am joined by a host of well, heroes. Is such a strong word. Let's call them journeyman knights, beginner knights, beginner men. Perhaps uh, knights errant? I don't. I don't think you guys qualify as knights. We here. do you not. Have houses. We do not. Yeah. yeah, you're knight. You're technically knights bachelor, I believe. But uh, Owain is like real close. I thought knights bachelor was the ones who have a sweet bachelor pet to hang out. No, at. no, no. Bat bachelor knights are ones that serve a lord who has uh, a place for them. Oh well, um, we are we are uh, uh, vavasurs. Well, Owain is dangerously close to being a banneret. Uh, due to some well-placed marriage concerns. Um, it ch chat on Discord was surprisingly light, especially when you compare it to the Blood Bowl channel, which has been <laughs> amazingly active today. But some of our European friends wanted to chime in about uh, the legitimacy of Owain's children and how it should be challenged. And I'm like, God, motherfuckers, could you get off my script, please? Like, <laughs> I get it, well, I get it. And that's like when, when Blumenfaust uh, first first posted, I was like, look, man, it's an AP show. <laughs> it's going to come up. Yep. I, I, mean, I, 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 I did it to create that sort of content, you know, so. Perfect, perfect. Here's the thing that gets me is that it's not a bad prediction and I shouldn't be dunking on it. And here's why. People all, it's the reverse of the thing that really annoys me, which is when you see a, a thing coming in a story and you're like, oh, well, this is foreshadowed. And you're like, oh, well, I'm so foreshadowed. I'm, why are you complaining that it was foreshadowed? That's good. That's good writing that you were able to catch. You, your brain is working. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. If it happened out of nowhere and it wasn't foreshadowed, you'd be like, Damn, that doesn't make any sense. This little kid is gonna it can sit on the seat because he's crippled? What, the best story possible in the kingdom? What the heck? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. When it happens, there'll be a bunch of people memeing Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at the screen, you know. <laughs> With the bottle. Yes. Yeah, this, is, this is definitely def definitely Occam's open, open relationship. <laughs> uh... Glimo, are you doing more? Is it, this is the announcement part. So, are you doing more Mardi Gras crafting over the next week or so? Uh, if I can get all my stuff together, then yes, I'll be doing a little bit more uh, tomorrow night. So, so, if I wanted to watch that, I would go to twitch.tv slash Glimo. You would, but okay. instead you'll be running uh, Generic Fantasy Adventure at the same time. Yeah, but I was speaking on behalf of the audience. That was, it was I, like a third person. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Pavlov's open relay. Oh Jesus! Yeah, okay. makes well, it's because Occam's razor is the one that everything is is done the simplest way. Isn't what it? is it? Every time there's a bell, there's an illegitimate <laughs> illegitimate child. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so it's getting so dark. Uh, no, check check on this open relationship. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You finally got to one that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Man, mixing that up is so dangerous. Uh, uh, by my recollection, we completed a winter phase, which is by no means a small thing, and then pressed on into the year 486, where you went to court at Windsor, where indeed. you made some new contacts. You spoke with the court magician, a guy no one has ever heard of, named Merlin, not a famous historical figure at all. Uh, you weren't able to get close to or learn anything about a man named Praetor Saragius. 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 Man, that is a. I, I've been practicing trying to say that name all week. I is can't that why you ignored us? Because you can't say his name? Uh, I just. I, can't. <laughs> I can say Praetor real easily and I can act fake, fake Roman pompous, but uh, although I think technically he's French or a, a Franc. Uh, anyway. Is there anything else you wanted to do at the court at Windsor before you set out on your own self-chosen journey of a patrol? I think that Spoon, at the very least, he sold me 
on starting in uh, his home province of Pitten and moving west. Yeah, uh, you know, pending pending approval by my uh, two companions. I mean, I, I'm happy as long as I just know that uh, it was tacitly implied that we should, you know, spend some time not no, uh, looking at the border with um, uh, Selchester. 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 Yeah, that's right. Yes. But it was also specifically said we shouldn't spend all our time there. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, my, my, my plan is was to um, basically. Uh, hang on, let me. Uh, you owe something like 40 here. days of <clears throat> patrol, and you have checkpoints you have to reach regularly. So you can't just say, well, I patrolled the Silchester border for 40 days without being ordered to do that exact thing. Yeah, so and, and to basically do just a big like loop of um, of the county, like of like the top, the top part of the county. Indeed, because there was also the um, rumors of the uh, meteor sword or the star meteor sword. sword west of Ember along the road to Warminster. Mm -hmm. And and then I believe we were also tasked to patrol the road to Vagon or from Vagon. Yeah, you well you have to patrol Salisbury, which means yeah. you. You ride everywhere. And wasn't yeah. there also reports of some knights that were missing after going in search so in search or something? Indeed, yeah. it was the meteor uh, sort of the, the meteor, meteor sort of. Yep. Yeah. They never came back. Well, that brings me back to my initial question: Was is there anything else you want to do at Windsor before we set out on your patrol? No, e I'm good. Everyone's in approval of starting in Pital Kendrick's home province. Yes. Very well. I I see I'm, as well be there. I'm really trying to get an auditory response out of Gleemo because yes. I know a lot of people only listen to these and not watch it. But the home of the hammer. Okay. The home of the that's hammer. Right, the yeah. hammer. We, we, that's, we, going, we, that's going above the door frame. We, we need an audio descriptive version of this show, Arthur, I think. Oh, we're going to do Daredevil then? <laughs> they did an incredible job, honestly. Um, how do you see yourselves on patrol? Are you strapped down wearing combat armor, riding on chargers? Is it round seas with hunting leathers? Is it, you know, sword belted at your side, just wearing fancy clothes, looking good to the peasants and taking care of yourself on a slow trot? How, and who do you bring with you? Do you bring squires? Do you bring your wives? Do you bring... You know, men at arms or some of your family's banner knights. So let me let me tell you. Well, let me tell these guys what I think, and we okay. can do whatever people want to do. But but I think that first off, definitely, you know, we have a we have a, a task to train our squires. So bringing our squires should be a, a must. A given, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is as much about a show of force as it is actual force. I.e., letting the people know that knights protect the lands. So. Appearing as knights, I think, is 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 important as an as an important part of it as what we actually do. So I would think that provided that the weather and the resources we have in our hands allowed for it, we should be in you know in chain armor. Um, I, maybe not so much on charges, but certainly um, you know like dressed and, and equipped as knights would be in order to establish that presence. I agree because, because presence is the first step on the on the force continuum. Yeah, Jared has an extra charge here, so I think he'll he'll ride one of them. Uh, I Herod would leave his wife at home, bring the squire. Uh, I'm if if we want to do show of force, uh, I could rouse some of my uh, family knights. I'd want to leave some home to protect. The homestead and the and the wife, but you know, I could I could spare. I have ten family nights, so you know, I could spare three or four of them. Okay, uh, I think uh, Kendrick is just it's just Kendrick and the squire. Um, I mean, he's not married, so no wife yet, and uh, he's only got a few household nights, so. So, Mike, was it implied last game that we should be taking more than just ourselves? I think that nope. we actually had some instruction. I thought that was okay. Mm -mm. Maybe I'm misremembering. 
I said, I remember a conversation with the count where he sort of said, how many people can you take with you? That's all right. I, I think it was um, left up to your discretion. Yeah. Uh, so indeed, your, your patrol begins. Uh, as your patrol is beginning, you hear a word that the count is indeed organizing, uh, I say count, but it should be Earl Roderick, is organizing uh, raids on Colchester, which means you will not be involved in the raids and therefore will gain neither glory nor uh, material goods this season. Uh, you are somewhat west of Duplain as you begin in Kitten. Um, and I assume that as you're going to visit everywhere, your first order of business will be to ride northeast with the border of Silchester and ride it down to Duplain while, uh, you know, making a local show of force and presence. Indeed. Kendrick, this is our first look at your manor. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, we've got, we've got the manor proper. We've got, like, a little herding area. We've got some subsistence crops for the manor itself. And then, of course, tons of cropland in every direction with that rich Salisbury soil that your serfs work upon. A church. Um, what's what's unique? What's special? What am I looking at here? What sets it apart from the Hurokan heartlands? Uh, I mean, so I, I, I feel like it, 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 the yeah, and, less, and, less, and radioactive missiles and <laughs> you know uh, thousands of LRMs in the streams. Um, no, I think um, uh, Pitten is a so it's it's right it's right on a road, um, a, a fairly major road that runs from Duplain to Sarum. Um, so I feel like there is a great like um, track, like a two two track that runs through it basically, that um, has you know these well well run like wagon ruts and probably like several places where to for like. Uh, caravans like pull off to the side to stop and like eat lunch or whatever and um you know rest um but otherwise i feel like it's it's pretty open like plains here um and then to the south there's like some scrub land and then the forest but i think one of the major one of the major features is is definitely the road well it's a somewhat warm, cold, probably like uh, mid 50s, like slightly less than 10 Celsius, maybe. Pretty good humidity. It could rain. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. That kind of sky. I mean, this is nothing surprising to any of you because you live in Britain. So this is the weather 90% of the time or so the memes go. They have, they, have, they have two weather patterns. They have rain and fog. <laughs> uh, the three of you make your way with your squires. This is a important mission for them. It is their first patrol. Uh, they've never done anything like this. And it's also their first time away from home which means there's no one to do anything for them. In fact, they're doing things for you. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a little bit of fumbling to like get, <clears throat> you know, food cooked, things stored away, keeping track of perhaps a map of some kind. Uh, the three squires have banded together in much the same way the three of you have banded together, but in a sort of bumbling only really gets it right about 80% of the time, sort of. Uh, uh, some pompousness and arrogance as well, being away from home. As I think... You... And the, okay, it's, no, it's, no, probably a it's probably a conversation for my for my fellows, but um, since you know, we, we obviously, we're aware of our own lives growing up together as, as squires, and so we should be aware that that's what our squires' lives are like. Should we create a sense of friendly competition among them to drive uh, them each to strive the hardest i think uh, a friendly competition could do no harm okay so we will definitely be trolling our squires arthur to... <laughs> <laughs> i heard james say friendly competition i knew that was total bullshit <laughs> <laughs> 
controlling your squires. Very well. Uh, I assume you asked them to go change the water out of a certain pipe or go buy a specific type of fluid for the car. Something yeah, along those. Le left hand <laughs> screwdriver, black and white paint. <laughs> black and white striped paint, sorry. Uh, as you're making your way, you, you find places to stay along the route, of course. Local manors make themselves available to you, and when not available, you simply stay at a peasant's home who make their master bedroom available to you while they sleep with the children or the animals. Uh, about three days into your journey, you have walked along the border of the Harewood, which is uh, also conveniently the border with Silchester. Uh, somewhat contested. It's not clear to either side how far into the Harewood. Silchester, of course, maintains that the natural border of the wood is, of course, a strong literal border, and uh, the Earl contests that some of those woods belongs to the county. Um, as you are writing, I would like all of you to make something like a notice check. Which I think is a thing. Awareness? Like a awareness? Yeah, check. awareness. Once upon a time, there was a role playing game that even had a skill called Awareness Notice. <laughs> well, uh, one of us is paying attention. Indeed, it would seem, Wayne, you are the only one that notices. You are being shadowed in the woods. You have equally been noticed by a. Uh, by a knight with dark hair. He is riding in simple hunting leathers uh, upon a fine horse. No squire to be seen. Uh, a rather unusual longsword. It's almost like a hand and a half or a two-hander uh, in how thin yet long that it is. Somehow, it just seems like it would probably break, honestly. Very unusual. Uh, it's not like he turns to ride directly towards you, but he does do, uh, one of those, his horse will eventually collide with your horse further down the path. I believe mathematically it would be called asymptotic, although technically you would never meet at that point, but you might get the idea. Uh, he will eventually collide with your path unless you go out of your way to avoid him. Uh, so without actually pointing to him, I'll just try to say, oh, we, we have a, a, a knight in the woods who is uh, following our position. Should we, we, we'll meet him if we keep riding on this path. Should we not call out to him now and establish that we've seen him? Harad, you recognize him immediately because you have met and spoken with him before. This is Sir Blaine's, the steward of Lev Comagus. Uh, it appears that... Uh... Love Comagus rides to meet us. It is Sir Blaine's. Well, if, if you know the man, should you not do the introduction? Very well. I believe the proper protocol would be to call challenge to see who he is, despite us knowing already. Sir Blaine's, good to see you, sir. Sir Harad, I believe. Of yes, Laverstock, if my memory does not fail me. Indeed. And may I introduce my companions? Yes. And, uh, uh, I have with me... Uh, go ahead, gentlemen, I'll let you introduce yourselves. Uh, Sir Wayne de Shruton. Sir Kendrick de Pitton. Uh, Gwent steps forward and says... My name's Squint, uh, and this over here is Hebes and Elliston, my lord. Uh, Gwent has clearly picked up on the fact that no one... You might know this guy, but maybe you don't like him that much. He also knows that people from, from Salisbury are bad, so he's really I'm being... Silchester. Yes, so yes, Silchester are bad, so he's <laughs> really being kind of an obnoxious shit about it. What brings the uh, steward of Levcomagus into Salisbury? 
Uh, I mean, he looks at the woods that he's riding out of and says, Nothing brings me out of Salisbury yet, unless you'd like me to walk onto your side of the border. Oh, I mean, be, be welcome. We, we, <laughs> rather, rather than speaking to a natural barrier, let us, let us meet as men. Uh, he rides out of the woods. And... I would like to uh, look around, like, you know, keep my eyes open for a uh, possible ambush. Yeah, stereotypical fallen tree yeah, somewhere. Uh, uh, well, I mean, Carriage, obviously, this man is off the road, gold pouring out He of cannot it. be trusted. <laughs> Can you can you use uh, a directed trait, suspicious Silchester, to make your check? Your check. I will allow yeah. you to make a second awareness check. Uh, uh, do do I get the bonus from my uh... yes directed trait? Okay. I mean, I don't. You have a uh... plus ten directed. Yeah. Yes. Jesus. I, like, like I said, I right. I do not like Silchester. <laughs> it's not a critical but it is a one so i'm gonna give yeah. you this he is approaching you and he is aware that someone is following him and he's trying not to make any weird moves to make them suspicious you yeah. you notice the people who are following him they are wearing something akin to like very very low quality ghillie suits mm -hmm. they're basically just like uh robin hoodish green tunics brown pants some color alternating striping uh dirt on their faces uh like a cap to hide their hair and then like Almost like a child's play. They have like bush uh, leaves coming off of them. Sure. And they're they're like very... I mean, it's not like it's super poorly bad. But you know how it is. Like once you notice something, it's hard to unnotice it. Mm -hmm. um, he, is, he is being followed by someone. And he is trying not to give away that he knows that they are. And mm -hmm. he makes a glance at you. And lets you know that he knows, that you know. Okay. This is that high level PC glance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he is now a PC as well. <sighs> so, out for a uh, constitutional, then, gentlemen. I'm uh, just patrolling the Lord's lands mm. as as is our duty. And yourself, hunting, are you? I, I I take from your your garb and lack of squire. Uh, patrolling as well, to some extent. I find myself less heavily armed than you. Uh, would it, would a man hunt without a bow? I ask. Or Indeed. perhaps a boar spear. A boar spear. Yes. Yes. Uh, I would say that, as all knights know, the bow is, outside of hunting, the weapon of a coward, or the Irish. <laughs> there is no need for it. Uh, no! Well, please take, take no offense to my heavy armor. We are simply establishing ourselves, uh, our, our presence in our lord's lands, and wish to appear as knightly as possible. I take no insult. You're on your side of the border. I was on mine before you invited me over here. Uh, I have a manor not far from here if you wish to stay the night on my side of the border. Manor is a strong word. Let's call it a hunting lodge. It would require you passing over into Silchester, but as the favorite of the Duke, I will grant you permission to come into his lands. I, I have a very low directed trait in Suspicious Silchester, so I'm sort of looking to the others to see if they're interested in, in this offer. Um, I think like Kendrick isn't going to uh, speak up, but he does not regard uh, Sir Blaine's with any sort of um, warmth. Could I, could I make a uh, Suspicious check on this uh i would accept intrigue if you're trying to figure out some part of what's going on okay 
Can I use my directed trait to the my intrigue? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course. Please be suspicious of Silchester. Ugh, oh, I got nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, I mean, there's more going on here than what meets the eye. Something is passing between him and Kendrick, but perhaps emotional intelligence is not your, uh, your, your forte. He turns to you, Kendrick, and says... Come now, Sir Kendrick. We should sit as men do, out of... Out of the weather. It could turn sour at any moment. And he does do that, like, long, awkward, weird pause in the middle of it. Yes, we wouldn't want any, um, bad weather now, would we? Perhaps Indeed. we should go with you. Yes, I agree. I would hate for it to start storming at any moment. And now, Very well then. he, his, he's right-handed, mm -hmm. and he is riding alongside you south. So you can see, but the people that are on the other side of the forest from him can't see that he undoes his sword and then redoes it a few times to try to get your attention. Mm-hmm during this conversation yeah yeah um <clears throat> sure yeah like like he's basically like pulling it in and out of the scabbard a, a little yeah. bit yeah um yeah <clears throat> have they uh has the 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 uh tail of the hammer reached uh levko magus Surely it is not the only tale from Salisbury that has reached here. The... It's not even implied at this point, the outwardly stated sexual exploits of both Harad and Owain have reached the ears of every household of the God-fearing Levka Magazines. I fear that soon all of Silchester will be under the sway of your songs. <laughs> My boys do good work. <laughs> well, the uh, the or origination of that uh, of that tale was when we were on our way back from uh, the village of Ember, and we ran into some bandits on the road. And when 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 Kendrick says this, like he gives pointed looks to uh, Sir Owain and Sir Herod. I mean, uh, Sir Blaine gives a really I, fake laugh, like ha ha ha. Hilarious! What a tale! I will take a as discreet as possible look around as I can. Just sort of, I just, you know, yawn, stretch, look at the sky, look around, attempt to see anything of relevance. I'll take another awareness. No you you do have the suspicious of Silchester. No, I'm not. I'm, I, that's fine. I, uh, You're not uh, not that suspicious of Silchester. I mean, <laughs> not nearly as suspicious as I am. Yeah, even if even if I had my dragon trait, it still would have failed. So. Kendrick is acting weird, and so is Blades. Both of them I, are maybe like touching their weapons, and you're not sure if there's like a duel that's about to happen or something. Uh, let's see if Harad, you know, finally figures out what's going on. Guys are just rolling awareness after. Oh, awareness. hey, there we go. Yeah, ten on an eleven. Harad is woke to what is happening around him. You are you are perhaps in danger. I uh, I think we should take Sir Blaine's up on his uh, hospitality. It'd be rude not to. Well, ride with me then, and he starts kicking up the pace of his horse. Mm -hmm. Your squires. <laughs> this squires whole conversation. Like, they have, they, yeah, this is they're just it's this all way, way, over, way over them. Yeah. <laughs> um. He leads you to a hunting lodge uh, about a thousand feet into the Harewood. And uh, as you, you know, leave your horses to be, I want to say, unbridled by your squires. Like they, you know, they pull it in. They're performing a 5,000 mile checkup on those horses, you know, getting them up on blocks, taking a look <laughs> at what's going on. 
Yeah. You know, keep uh, the horses uh, wash the oil, sweat yeah. off. Yeah, wipe down. Keep, keep the horses ready. Don't take the saddles <laughs> off. Okay. They they follow that order. As soon as you guys are in the door, Blaine's is just like he's talking, but he's walking away from you. And he's Aaron Sorkining you. He's just like, My apologies. I thought that you might be in some danger for the last few hours I have been followed by I, I believe that they are escaped serfs or perhaps slaves. I had heard rumors that the Saxons were sending something along the lines of diplomats to, to rabble rouse outside of Lev Camagus and incite a, uh, a, a slave riot. And I believe I have accidentally stumbled into their area. Mm -hmm. You may Can have. We help? Well, <clears throat> you seem more well suited for battle than I am, although. I'm not sure riding chargers in heavy armor through the Harewood uh, in the evening is a particularly good idea, but if you'd like to join me on foot for a right proper slaughter of some Saxon uh, dissidents and their escaped slaves, then sure. I mean, There's I was going to just go home, so this is a real win for me. There's nothing that I'd enjoy more. Indeed. Any uh, any harm we can do the Saxons is good. Indeed. <clears throat> Sir Harad, I fear we did not get off on the best foot when last we met, so I appreciate your presence here. I felt that uh, we had quite the Fine conversation at the at the feast. Perhaps. However, I felt that you had no reason to trust me. Trust is hard between our nations. Nations. We know that and there's bad blood between our our lords, and so. But as just knights out amongst ourselves, we can dispense with some of that. Very well. How long will it take the three of you to prepare yourself for combat? I don't think long at all. <clears throat> Are we going to attempt to be stealthy? I'm not particularly in the mood for that. I thought I would simply charge directly at them with my sword, kill all of them, and then see if I can figure out where they came from, kill them too. Find the Saxon, kill them. That sounds like an excellent plan. Or perhaps capture them so they can be uh, of some use to our... A game of intrigue, Sir Kendrick. That might be somewhat above me. I am not as good at such games as others who have outmaneuvered me in the past. Hmm. Well, I don't, uh, I don't claim to be any great schemer. But I know a, uh, a corpse does not speak. Perhaps, perhaps. It's a saying in Silchester that uh, one can always determine how suspicious a man is if they are from Salisbury. <laughs> <clears throat> well, whenever you're ready, my lord. Okay, he literally just kicks the front door of the hunting lodge down and begins charging wildly into the woods with no particular direction or aim. Fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I guess right, just kind of looks at, the, at, at the three and says, so we're really doing this, huh? <laughs> so it would seem, and, and like Kendrick pulls the, pulls the mace out from behind or off of his back and uh, follows and shot, he shouts to Ellis and he says, stay, stay with the horses. Okay. Keep the horses ready in case we need to leave in a hurry. And Harad will go off as well. All right. They start refueling the horses, you know, water, oats, uh, checking the oil pressure. <laughs> uh, the four of you charge wildly into the woods. It does, however, have the immediate effect of, of spooking your quarry. You are not, like, 
battle hardened by any means. You fought in exactly one major battle, the Battle of Mirkrid Creek, but you have spent your whole life uh, immersing yourself in a violent culture. Bloodshed is no surprise to any of you. And I think all three of you have killed someone by this point. Um, these are serfs who are in the woods who believe that they are hidden and when they are spooked they do nothing briefly before finally getting the wherewithal to start running uh at that point blaine's detects them and you know does that hunting dog thing of like the whole pack of you like begin angles, moving to yeah. follow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the it's the ra the raptors in the grass, except for yeah. this one. It's, you know, three, four heavily armed men. It's uh, like the, the human response to unknown gunfire is the meerkat effect. Stop, look around, scatter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, we we just did a, a what, what what's known as the medieval recon by fire. Uh, <laughs> as he begins charging towards them, uh, now visible, eight. Uh, seemingly exotically dressed peasants uh he's he's screaming for silchester for lev Kamegas. uh are all of you sticking with him in his mad charge into eight fleeing but armed peasants yeah yeah yep. okay I didn't know if you wanted to just like leave him to his fate. Or anything. Yeah, just let, let him run into eight eight peasants well, and get stabbed that, that to was, death. That was my significant PC glance before we started, but uh, I mean, but I'm not gonna, I'm yeah, not gonna I, peace out and leave the two of them. So well, I, I think like Kendrick, I think would would see this as like like d ditching him at this point is uh, you know as much as he might like to because he doesn't really like this guy. Uh, he is a knight and a noble, and uh, he doesn't deserve to get stabbed to death by peasants. Well, um, I mean, maybe he does, but <laughs> not in Kendrick's eyes. Not, not on our watch. Yeah, yeah. If it happens any sleep at night time, that's that's his own problem. Yeah. Wow, that's dark. <laughs> right. Very well. I, I would have been a hundred percent okay with leaving him to like go get murdered in in this hunting cabin and us continuing on our patrol. But now that we're in it, Kendrick's in it to win it. Uh. You are stumbling around a a forest at night. Well, let's call it in adverse lighting conditions. In combat armor. So I would like energetic rolls from all of you to see if you can keep up. If you've got that energy. Well, Kendrick makes okay, it. Okay, Kendrick. Okay, mm -hmm. Wayne. I'm having trouble finding energetic. It's, it's a, a, it's it's a, a personality, trait. Trait. personality trait. Personality. Thank you. Nope. All right. I'd like you to test lazy real quick. Mm. Okay. Oh, go gosh. ahead and uh, check mark lazy. Uh, yep. Harad, as you're just like at some point you're. You're not like totally winded and gassed out, but you literally just don't care about this situation enough. You're like, oh, uh, do I really want to wake up tomorrow with like pains of being stabbed and like running through the woods and like tripping and falling and hurting myself on behalf of this guy, a guy who I literally know was plotting to invade Salisbury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you slow as Kendrick and Owain pull ahead. So, AP, I'm not looking for a slaughter here. I'm looking to put the fear of the gods into these peasants. Like, okay. I'm happy to I'm happy to drive them off. Like, I, I I'm not going to stop others from from wanton slaughter. But that's not what Owain's looking for. Despite his hatred, he's also not into just outright slaughtering um, unarmed or, or lightly armed peasants. Very well. Kendrick, what's your decision here? Uh, I mean, Kendrick, like, uh, while uh, I, Kendrick is not as forgiving as Sir Owen. <laughs> he says he figures kill a couple of them, uh, let, the, let the rest run off, and that'll put the fear of God in them. Okay, how do you want to adjudicate this, Owen, then? Uh, do you want to just fake some swipes at them, or do you want to, like, go for a hit on one for real, or... 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'm not using the fat of my blade or anything. I'm I'm still you know attacking with strokes, but I, the the idea is if someone if someone goes down, I turn to the next available opponent rather than you know stabbing okay, him out on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. You're, you're not. I mean, I I think I'm doing sadistic the same thing game mastering for... in five E. <laughs> Yeah, where you're like, oh, the the null sees that your healer is is unconscious. Two dip, two failed death saving throws. What's great about Five E, just as an aside, by the way, is that there. I found a list today on D and D Beyond of uh, monsters that have reasons to kill down characters, like they get temporary hit points or they turn you into a zombie or something. And I was like, mm -hmm. gathering this together is real, like real argumentative with the players <laughs> like, the fact that you've assembled this is is a weapon yep speaking of weapons i'd like both of you to make rolls with your weapons of choice and i'm gonna roll for your boy sir blaine's uh sir blaine's has called upon his passion for his homeland and is enhancing his great power of sword um could I possibly call it a passion of honor here? How, as, as, how I feel do like, you feel that you are acting honorably in this situation? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like Kendrick's honor is the whole reason he's here because he's not letting Sir Blaine's go running off into the night by himself. Very well. I, uh, d despite the fact that I, I think out of the three of us, I like this dude the least. I will let you roll on that, but the consequences will be quite dire if you fail. Okay. Very well. You are also impassioned, as is he. That I'm, is not I'm not testing. I'm not testing hatred Ooh. Saxons because I don't. I don't believe They're that. Not, um, yeah, the, the, there's I, only I one Saxon actually, among yeah. this group. Yeah, I, 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 th I think these are, these are most likely you know peasants who have been peasants. been pressed into service. Yeah, It'd be real questionable if you had hatred peasants. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that is listen. That exists, and you can mm -hmm. get it. You hey, don't hey, want hey. it. The, 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 this from a man whose hatred people is legendary. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me glory every year what can i say uh kendrick with the mace yeah that was a fail that for me a uh a wayne what do you have for me oh your sword uh, I, was I, uh, yeah, a success. Eight, eight under 16 yeah. uh go ahead and, and give me some damage here okay there's some damage for you yeah 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 23 uh according to my calculations like that's a dead peasant. uh that is indeed a instantly dead peasant okay um how much xp is he worth <laughs> according to this he is not worth any glory at all you don't you don't get anything for killing him he's a peasant um how unfortunate for you <laughs> if only you had killed a christian priest <laughs> I, th I think it's one of the one of the enemies in the Great Pendragon campaign has the direct has the uh, trait hatred you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, amazing. Um, yeah, you kill someone. Uh, Blaine's kills someone. Uh, the remaining six, like one of them, just like stops and instantly surrenders. Uh, one of them like grabs someone and is just just like, he's a Saxon. It's him. It's him. Spare me, my lord! Uh, the other four, including the man who's being grabbed, all starfish in different directions. Uh, at this point, Harad is just, like, trotting up. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, guys. Looks like you've got it in hand. Uh, yeah, Blaine's just, you know, takes his sword. He ignores the surrendered man. He lets the three of you deal with that. And he's going for the dude that was trying to sell out the Saxon. And he's just like, I only need one of the two of you. Is there some reason why it should be you instead of him? And he's like, looking at the three of you for help. The, the man who tried to sell out the Saxon. He's just, he has no words. Did, did, did that guy grab? Did he grab the he guy? Grabbed the he grabbed the Saxon, but the Saxon has evaded him and is okay. now running. And again, I, you I don't know like if to... that's really a Saxon. Yeah. He yeah, just yeah, grabbed yeah. somebody and shot, here's the Saxon. I, I would like to go after the guy that he grabbed. Very well. All right. I'm, I'm looking to secure the guy that surrendered. 
Very well. Harad. This guy, this this second surrendering guy is looking now. <laughs> you all abandoned him. It's just you and him, Harad. He's looking for you to save him from the evil Sir Blaine's so intent on murdering him. What can you tell us about the one who pressed you into service? Uh, look, he just, he said that the Saxons, they were going to come, that they were going to, you know, give us our freedom back, that we could live as freed men if we joined in their service. I thought it sounded like a good opportunity for my family. All right. I just wanted to make sure that they could live well. We know the Saxons are going to overtake us eventually. It's just, I'm sorry. I know you're knights. I know that you want to keep your way of life, but I have to live here, and the Saxons are definitely coming. Every year they keep coming back, and their gods are real. Let's just say it. They perform magic. It's real. It's real. I just want My to be on the winning real. side, okay? My god's real, too. And he smacks the guy <laughs> upside the head with a, with a male glove. All right. Yeah, you, you punch him. And, uh, yeah, Blaine's watches you punch an unarmed, surrendered prisoner and just goes, Harad, I didn't think you had it in you. As he takes this, like, four-foot-long so, long sword so, and just stabs the dude in the stomach a few times. And he's like, well, no, Harad, Harad was, try, was trying to punch him so that Blaine's wouldn't kill him. Oh, so okay. Tried, All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Harad, you like, so you're gonna stop Blaine's as he goes. So like, Harad, 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 Harad was Harad was was hoping that if he just roughed him up a little, Blaine would <laughs> would move on and and go go you know, fight somebody else. <laughs> to add insult to injury, you just got punched in the face. Now you're gonna get stabbed. <laughs> you 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 either put your hand on his sword arm or you just like say something to Blaine's and he stops, and you know he takes his somewhat ridiculously long long sword and flicks the blood off of it does a little cleaning real quick and, sh and she's it and uh just says Seem well. seems like they're not they're not worth it my lord they don't they don't know anything they're just cowards look i'm gonna be honest with you salisbury let them, let them piss let them piss their pants and fl three, flee off into the woods look our counties share a border with wessex the Saxons may have lost at Mirkreed last time, last year, but that's not going to last forever. They're going to come again. Why don't you, if you like this one so much, I'll let you take him back to your count. Sorry, Earl. Very well. He looks at the one that you're, uh, you're securing, Owain, and says, Sir Owain, if you don't mind, I think this one's mine. Definitely. He's in your lands. Yeah. I'll turn uh, it off. Kedrick, you're running, mm -hmm. you're running down a Saxon yep. in the middle of the night. I would like for you to make a hunting roll. Uh, can okay. I say an, alle an alleged Saxon? Alleged, an alleged Saxon. Alleged yes. Saxon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that he's not mm -hmm. alleged. He's a real Saxon. Okay. Uh, that, but that's player knowledge, not current um, knowledge. Would, yes. would, would I would I still be impassioned for this? Uh, yes, or, or but this that... is not the skill you were impassioned with. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I was I was going to ask, or or would that just apply to mace? So it it's only fail. applies to mace. Um, well, this could be a good news bad news situation depending on his evasiveness. His evasiveness is quite good. Yeah. Um, you lose him fairly quickly in the woods. All right, I will uh, not chase any further and return to my fellows before I, I before I myself get too lost. As the light of day begins fading, uh, Blaine says, "Well, gentlemen, uh, I should really be riding back with this fellow here. I would invite you to stay at my hunting lodge." For the night if you have some place that you'd like to go i i mean if you want to come back to levkamagus it will be a long ride into the night but i would offer you a room there as well but the lodge is here you're already here and you could get back on whatever you're doing on your side of the border quite quickly indeed i think that if we were to stay here if we were to take fully back to levkamagus then we would lose time tomorrow on our assignment, so we should, it, it provided you're okay with us staying here. 
I would accept your hospitality and encourage my fellows to do the same. I find such open nights of Salisbury in the face of this combined threat to us both to be a truly enlightening situation. Harad, I'd like you to roll intrigue real quick. And can I use my suspicious on it? Yeah, of course. Please do. Come on, big money. Hey! This guy's nice. bullshit. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> He's trying to play it up like this is some sort of joint operation, but the instant that he thinks he can move the border with Salisbury, he'll do it immediately. Very well. He does, however, uh, leave all of you with a fine how do you do as Blaine's rides off <laughs> with a prisoner in tow with a, <clears throat> a rope collar around his neck, all but dragging him behind his horse at a, yeah. uh, let's call it a trot. So two minutes after Blaine's is out of sight, I yeah. let my guy go and tell him, don't let him find you. And for God's sakes, stay the hell away from the Saxons. Do Kendrick and Owen see you do this? If I do, I don't mind. I, I don't stop it. I, I will. I will leave that decision up, up to Blima. I, I think. I think uh, Kendrick is. Um, I, like, I don't want to say he's going to go toss this hunting lodge, but he's going to go investigate this hunting lodge for sure. If it truly is one of. Uh, Sir Blaine's is like Sir Blaine's as many properties as the steward yeah. of Love Comangus. Yes. Yeah. Uh the three of you watch this guy. He's suspicious, right? I mean, this is the age of Uther. Chivalry, I mean, it's not dead, but stabbing so shooting him in the back as he leaves, joyous of his freedom, would not be that terribly unusual for a particularly cruel knight. Um he suspiciously shot, side shuttle hops away from you, checking back over his shoulder every once in a while in the dying light of the sun to make sure that you are not indeed following him back to wherever he comes from. Uh, and I feel like we follow him for a time as he like goes to his family and like gathers up his whole village and he's just like, listen, I think we need to go to Salisbury, okay? They are way, way more put together over there. Blaine's just like outrightly killed like two guys. The Saxons are coming. Salisbury and like, you know, several of his neighbors are just like, if we ran away, it would be a real, you know, they're going to chase us. And he's like, I think we can trust these Salisbury guys. They do not like Blaine's. If we could just make like, so he, he launches from one scheme for freedom into another really honestly bad scheme that will end poorly for him. <clears throat> but that's not what happens with Kendrick and, away. And, and, and Herod is really only letting the guy go to fuck with planes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, a small village uprooting themselves in the middle of the night yeah, and was... fleeing into Salisbury will definitely fuck with him. Yeah, and he'll have no, like, there's no way to trace this back to you, right? It's not like yeah. they're going to leave a note saying, Sir Harad <laughs> told us to go. Yeah. Um, We will talk about what you find within the hunting lodge of the steward of Levkamagus within the Western Harewood when we return from our break. Oh, what's that? Is that a BRB screen? Welcome back from the break. We just got done talking about villainous thugs, and uh, let's, expl <laughs> let's explore the hunting lodge of our favorite villainous thug, Sir Blaine's, the steward of Lev Camagus. Uh, this place is nice-ish. It's a one-story squat uh building in order to stave off uh snow when no one's here got that you know a framing roof done uh with a attached st stablery i don't know what you call it jeez stable an attached stable uh that seems like it'd be large enough to accommodate about 20 horses um the place itself if you 
stuck about 40 people in here, it would probably be pretty tight. For three of you and your three squires, you've got a lot of space to work with. The hall is narrow and long, uh, and there are like a generation after generation of hunting treasures here. It's also clear that this place is Ship of Theseus. Like, uh, something will, will break, like the roof will have caved in, and then will have been replaced in place. So the woods here are uh, well-worn, very used, not coherent at all. Um, there's a nice well, but it's built into the property, so like you can get the well water while you're inside. And uh, not only is there a large fire, of course, at the head of the table, but it looks like there are smaller hearths along the way to make sure that the whole room stays warm. Um, it doesn't look like, like there's a lot of space for, for like sleeping or anything. You suspect that people either sleep on the benches or perhaps a table that's not super unusual, but like if you had something approximating a cot or a bedroll, there isn't a lot of floor space that would be open for you to use. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. It smells pretty interesting in here. Uh, sweat. Uh, butchered animals. Trophies left unused for quite a while. It, it smells like an old used space that hasn't been used in a little bit of time. It's complex. It's deep. It's not great. It's really, honestly, the smell's a little offensive, but you come from a time period where people bathing once a week was considered exemplary, so maybe that doesn't matter so much to you. Yeah. So, given that we are in someone else's lands, and we know that there's been a band of you know, Saxon influence surfs around, should we have the squires maintain a, a watch overnight, so take turns, just to ensure that no one happens upon us in the middle of the night and we end up in a in a problem, at least enough to introduce who we, who we are and why we're here. I think that's an okay. excellent idea, Sir Elaine. Uh, I think Elliston will take the first watch. And I'll call out, but Elliston, you're on first watch. <laughs> are you assigning the squires to do watch overnight? Mm -hmm. I'd love for all of you to roll a d20 real quick. We're going to see who messes up. Oh boy, we got a <laughs> yikes. <laughs> oh man. Yikes. We'll come back to this in a minute. We get a way just gone. We never see it. We never hear from him. <laughs> yeah, <again. yeah. laughs> and Gwent goes, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> we wake up in the morning, Hebe's is the only squire. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah, there was, so, you know, you're settling in with, um, you know, Alliston starting watch, which he does by, like, going outside, and he doesn't want the light to interfere with his eyes, so he goes outside and just does, like, short patrol loops around the stable, uh, just so he can, like, check one side of the building, and check another, and then check the third side, and then just keep, like, making a half arc around the facility in the darkness to keep his dark vision intact. Uh, Harad, you wanted to take a closer look around here. Uh, that was Spoon, actually. Yeah, as, as, oh, as sorry, Kendrick wanted to take a closer yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, what are you, what are you looking for? Uh, you know, um, anything of note, any, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think there's, there would be much chance of, like, a personal correspondence or anything like that, but, you know, like, um, Anything that might have, uh, that, anything that looks important, uh, that's on like a desk or something like that. Or I'll like tell on you the what, table. make an intrigue and based sure. on your role, I'll tell you what you find. Uh, suspicious of Selchester? Um, yeah, I'll allow it, even though I know that makes you brokenly OP at this. You are looking at <laughs> I still find not, yeah, not, still not broken in the OP enough. You find, you find a, you. Uh, a hunting log. Uh, you do find several correspondences, but it appears to be between the, like, groundskeeper and Blaine's, 
And since it's here, it's just like Blaine's going, um, you know, like, hey, I wanted to make sure you weren't like neglecting the Western Hunting Lodge and the groundskeepers. Reply is not seen because, of course, he sent it to Blaine's. Right, sure. Um, I, I, th I, think you got, I think you got it wrong here, Arthur. I think that he found a whole stack of incoming information which he can't read. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh, letters? <laughs> um, let's see. What else might you have found here? I think you find some recipes as well yeah. looks like old family recipes other than that you know you're like looking for super suspicious information and you just have these, yeah, I'm just like, oh, these are like blames. the only He's three so good at hiding things. it yeah he's so good at hiding it of course i mean like you you eat your suspicious silt tester you like even check the floorboards to make sure mm -hmm. that there's like nothing underneath there or or i go ah oh, he, he might he must have grabbed it while we were in here earlier and we ah, just didn't know yes of course of course <laughs> yes <laughs> i didn't want us stumbling upon uh his villainous plans well he certainly has villainous plans undoubtedly he's from silchester I mean, he's been nothing but accommodating to us. A thin veneer, Sir Owain. I told you about my uh, run-in with him at the Pentecostal feast. Didn't yeah, he, I? Was, he was he was probing probing our defenses, so to speak, at least socially. Yes. But fortunately, we. Provided enough of a united front that uh, he's delayed any thoughts of invasion for the time being. I mean, it would be particularly poor, I think, in the eyes of the other lords of this region and the king for his vassals to be fighting amongst themselves while Saxons are actively rampaging through our lands. I was going to say, it still happens all the time, though. Yeah, but they are poorly. Yeah, they are thought of poorly, poorly yes. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Perhaps, but uh, if he could get a hold of several Salisbury manors, that uh, distaste would fade in time, and I feel the uh, increased income would be a salve for those wounds for him. Never, never let your guard down near a Silchester man. They they killed King Constance, you know. Or Constantine, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was there. Okay. Is there anything sure. else happening in this night? Not to us. You all <laughs> yeah. are woken uh, before dawn by PB's just... Uh, sh quietly shouting, he's just like, You son of a whore, and he's like kicking somebody in the face over and over again. He's just like, You lazy piece of shit, both of you, absolute embarrassment to our profession as knights and squires. Just blam, wham, wham. <laughs> so, uh, he's kicking Gwent in the head. Uh, Gwent appears to have not woken him up for his duties to, to go on guard because Gwent never went on guard because uh, he, he went to sleep through. and the guy before him, Elliston, never woke also him failed. up either. Yeah. <laughs> so Hemis is now taking out his wrath on the two of them quietly while he thinks that y you all are all asleep. I'll get back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no one uh, else is getting involved. Kend Kendrick, Kendrick will like prop himself up on a, on an elbow and like look over at, uh, at Herod and you know kind of give him a shrug. Here's my man has it has it in hand. <laughs> so it would seem. And he rolls back over and goes oh, yeah. to sleep. <laughs> when you get up a few hours later, 
breakfast has been prepared by two squires who uh, are already freshly bruised in the heads. One of them has a black eye and the other has a broken nose. Uh, and Hebius is taking a well-earned rest <laughs> after kicking the shit out of both of them and then preparing breakfast. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I, I'm, I'm not going to mention it if, if no one else does. They would see it. They, let this one play out. They've sorted it out themselves, so we'll find a rock build a bridge, get over it. <clears throat> How did everyone sleep? Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I think the squires look at each other, and Heavy's just just like shakes his head at the two of them. Like, don't say, don't say anything. Uh, once you've eaten, you feel it's time to prep the horses. We should get back to our patrol. Uh, Gwent. Go start, warm, go start warming the motor. I was going to say, at this point, Gwent tries to reassert his dominancy as the squire of the person with the highest glory. And the other two just ignore him. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> all three of them begin independently. Uh, bridling the horses. Whatever brotherhood they had over the last few days of travel gone instantly, evaporated, like the fog of the British mornings. Uh, you continue your way to Duplain, uh, where rumor would have it that uh, there are serfs who are being uh, returned to Silchester after escaping from Silchester illegally and coming over the border seeking refuge. None of it has anything to do with you, so you continue to ride <laughs> ride on. Uh, south of Figsbury, on your way to Serum, however, you find yourself uh, in a situation. There is an old man dressed in tattered goatskins uh, who runs up to the three of you while you are riding along a pretty major road uh, no one else is in sight at this time, except for him. And he just kind of appeared from, like, a ditch, just, like, out of nowhere. Like, ha Oh! Ah! Knights! Sir Knights! I can do some help! My goat is on that hill! Up there! My goat on the hill! Is there a goat on said hill? You look up there, there doesn't yeah. seem to be a goat on the hill. I'm way too old to get up there. Please, Sir Knights, can you go get my goat? As you can see, I am dressed in goatskins because I am a goat herder. An old, old man. Yes, very old. Old indeed. Please help me. Please help me. Does it look like it, it probably had to go up the hill on foot rather than on horseback? Uh, you could go up on horseback. Your horses probably wouldn't right. like it. You can definitely try. So I, I see two options here. We either send the squires for the goat, or we leave our horses with the squires and solve this ourselves. Goat herding think... seems like a young man's game. <sighs> a young man's game, Aaron. We're 22. <laughs> <laughs> As the three of you are talking about this, a truly massive black goat crests the top of the hill. We're talking like Pokemon Snorlax sized goat. Oh, Easily, shit, okay. it looks like two goats wide, two goats tall, honestly. And it looks <clears throat> at you with its goat eyes, and they do that goat eyed thing. And then it turns and it begins fluffing its way away from you back over the crest of the hill. Is it one of those goats that just um, goes paralyzed when you frighten it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure. Why don't you go investigate and find out, perhaps? Yeah, this, looks, this, right, this, looks, this looks like fun. This, 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 it's, uh, it kind of the squires have all the fun. Yeah. Elliston, take, take the horse. And uh, Kendrick will dismount. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Hebes. Don't let them get into trouble. <laughs> of course, my lord. Babies is the responsible one. <laughs> I'll stay here and make sure that this goat herd is safe. Excellent. Uh, right. The three of you make your way up, cresting the hill on foot. You see a big black billy goat chewing some cud 
in the middle of some old ruins. It looks like it's uh, standing next to a three foot tall foundation of a large manor. It does just kind of wait placidly as you approach. And then as you like the first person to put a foot on the stone of the manor's foundation, it immediately like leaps in the air in midair turns 180 degrees away from you and begins bounding down the hill into yeah, like, a copse like, of trees like goats do yes of course <clears throat> let's get it you guys kendrick will be like all right you 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 hook that way i'll go around this way okay we'll, yeah we'll, tactics we'll, we'll triangulate it <laughs> Harad, where are you going? Are you in the hook? Or are you with Kendrick? Uh, I'll, I'll go with Kendrick. Okay. Uh, the three of you make your way through the woods, chasing after this goat. And it's not like a super huge amount of foliage here, but you are glad you didn't bring the horses because it would have been suicide to charge uh, unknown into this level of woods. You make your way out briefly passing uh into a clearing wherein you see a three-eyed giant holding the goat by its horn just go it looks at the three of you and goes okay swords coming out i mean giants they're not they're not like intelligent have a conversation with type creatures are they they're a uh, a blight on the land. You don't you don't speak their language. I feel like you can make a fairy lore rule here though. Okay. I'll, I'll just tell you lore. outright though that like killing giants is considered a high you know Sir yeah. Sir Amig uh has killed giants in the past, and indeed giant killing is a celebrated sport in uh okay. Cornwall. I know a little bit about giants. Yeah, so uh friendly giants are few and far between. You might be able to exchange some words with this giant. If it speaks uh, the king's English at this time, I guess I can't say queen's English anymore in either timeline. Um, <laughs> yeah, this giant's probably a pretty bad deal. Like, uh, it's a small giant. It can probably pick up and throw a tree at you. So I think might of habit, I will, once I draw the sword, say, drop the goat. It drops the goat. <laughs> oh, okay. And it picks up a boulder. Yep. Uh, well, you've made yourself a target, so it's going to throw a boulder at you. Uh, I will... Well, uh, It's throwing the boulder at a Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. How, how do I, yeah so i mean is this so is we're, we're, to we're dodge or, what, or what i don't yeah. i you were about to be in combat for sure i don't <laughs> think you have any dodge related skills let me do oh you can dodge the boulder yes okay was it a, like what is it a dex roll i feel like I that would that? be a dex roll yes okay i'm glad he's not throwing it at me i don't want to get hit Dude. Oh. very well all right say goodbye to a wayne <laughs> 22 points of damage oh, as a Jesus. small boulder oh my god hits you from a small yeah. giant Good, goodbye away oh, so i take so i take 12 damage i've got, I've got 10 armor on so. yeah one well, you you have you have your shield out too right uh yeah but i because i uh oh, because I you failed or yeah, yeah. the boulder collides yeah. with your armor you feel some crunching uh, is, that a, is this a, this is not it's enough? It's not about no. Thirteenth major. major. Very well, oh, thank uh, God. Test well, I for. Need to, I, did, I need down? to make a dex check. Yeah, no, yep, no, stay yep. up. No, I fall down. Oh boy. <laughs> so you have to spend the next turn standing up. Yeah. Uh, it's not not a great time for you, Kendrick Harad. Uh, as you are preparing to do whatever you'd like to do, this giant is already picking up a small tree and ripping it fresh roots out of the ground at this time period unrooting a tree is basically a magical heroic extremely they don't have explosives you know what i mean like this takes a incredible strength what would the two of you like to do you'll need to declare moves if you want to move into melee with him 
The two of you are away from Owain, who is injured and on the ground, but you could also move to Owain. Or you could flee if you'd like to. In fact, because this thing has a prudent modifier, fleeing would not be dishonorable if you wanted to run away. It would not be a good idea to face this thing, just to be clear. Uh, but you are knights, and this is battle, and one of your own is injured. Mm. Um... Ah, boy. Shall we? Uh, I think, uh, yep, Sir Kendrick is uh, going <laughs> to charge in. <clears throat> Harad, also charging in? Also charging in. Okay. Uh, both of you can make attacks. Let's see here. Uh, what is everyone's dex? Twelve. Uh, nine. Okay, you'll both act before the giant then, which really matters a lot here. He so does he... Sorry? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, so my, isn't the way it's supposed to work when you do multiple opponents is that effectively everybody's declaring their targets. Everybody rolls an attack. Yes. But if... He has the avoidance skill, so he can use that to evade rather than declare... Uh, okay. You know, he doesn't have to split his weapons. He'll automatically dodge based on his avoidance skill. Uh, yeah. He will, however, declare his target to be... Kendrick. Okay. So you and he will be rolling directly against each other, and he will be rolling avoidance versus Harad. But Wayne... What would you like to do before we start making these rolls? I, I'm trying to get up and, oh, and go and help, so yeah. my whole action. You're having a little bit of trouble sucking down some oxygen, but yeah. all it does is make the blood flow better. Uh, my, my good man. Any passions you'd like to call upon during your reckless charge to the forest? Uh, yes. 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 Um, I would like to call upon... Uh, my loyalty fellowship of the axe. Very well. Let's make that roll. Ooh, that's a fumble. Oh my god. Does that mean you that's no, really it's, bad? It's, it's a, no, well, I mean it, it, it in this situation, yes, it is very bad. Because okay. I get a uh, a minus, minus. five. Oh. But and and, oh. and the and the passion drops by one automatically as yeah. well. So it goes down to a thirteen. Yikes. Yeah. I didn't know we had loyalty passion. I Hello, feel like I had you guys roll three d six for it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When we when we swore at the at the Christmas feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should oh, have it. Shit. I guess I just forgot to put it on my character sheet. Now I gotta roll, go back through here and find when we view all the chat entries for this game. Yikes! <laughs> you so you don't have to call upon that specific passion. Uh, yeah, I would, just if it was higher than my honor, I would I would roll it. Yeah, I, I, I think I that's pretty about, unlikely. Your honor passion is almost certainly higher. Yeah. yeah. I thought about rolling honor, but I was like, ah, it makes more sense for loyalty. I'm, I'm going to roll. I'm going to call upon my honor. I'll allow it. Success. It is successful. All right. So let's see here. Because the passion rules changed in 5.2. So I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. You have yeah, made a passion was, roll. I found it, you got a eleven, Gleamer. It's a, an eleven. Thank you. Yeah. So 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 in 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 sixth edition, which is the passion rules we're using, if it's a uh, like a standard passion, just anything between one and fifteen. If you succeed, you get a plus five. If you fail, uh, I believe you get a minus five. Um. Uh, so let's see here. Unsung passion. Oh, actually, failure is no no result. So, you so it's uh, yeah. So I so I am melancholy one d six plus five days lose one point of um, so so I have a I believe melancholy gives me a minus five. Yeah, it does. Uh, but he, and, he, and he doesn't he doesn't run off into the woods though. Yeah, but but it's not madness because it's not a famous or an exalted passion. Let's see here. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and roll to the my, ground my melancholic. Six days of melancholic. So you, yeah, I mean, this is still quite bad. I don't. Uh, but the melancholy sits in. Uh, like you take the penalty now, but I think the melancholy yeah. sits in once the encounter, once the 
Actual scene is done. Ah, I see. Well then, you will yeah, fall into a deep and like morose madness. depression as soon as this yeah. particular fight is done. It's not great yeah. for you. Yeah. Uh, and you'll need for to six be days. led around. So not no, that's 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 madness. Uh, uh melancholy, you had to be led around. Someone has to snap you out of it. Someone can snap yeah. you out of it before. Yeah, before mad and mad to snap you out of it. Although I think you can be snapped out of melancholy as well. Melancholy, you have to be led around. Uh, Madden is truly quite bad. Yeah, ma ma madness is fucking terrible. All right. Uh, well, it sucks that the guy who gets essentially pretty close to a free hit on me is impassioned. Um, let me describe this this fellow for you a little bit more before I lose him to Gleemo critting the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, so this giant is like uh, twelve feet tall. Uh, long white hair down to his waist. He's hunched over, and uh, his like arms have claw fingernails that seem to have been sharpened. He's got two regular eyes, and then on the left side of his face, there's a third eye at the base of the eye. Mouth is just way too wide, too big, and he appears to be wearing just like the goat herder you left. He's wearing like weird goat skin garments. Uh, you know what, Glimo? Let's start with your roll. I know, technic. Oh, you have the higher decks anyway. Let's let's start with your roll. Let's go with the easy one before Kendrick gets. I mean, not saying he's about to get demolished, but it's not going to be good. So I get a plus ten because of my passion. Yes. Okay. I'm rolling for a four, so I'm really. Oh, hoping... did, you, did you did you create your passion? Nope, I failed. Uh, Glimo? no. It, it should just be a plus five, then. He's reading the Success. book rules, and he's going oh, with the yeah, 5.2 yeah. rules instead uh, of the yeah, six. It's, it's pinned, going by it's, the five point. It's, it's, yeah. pinned, it's pinned in um, in the uh, cast chat. We're using okay. the new rules, which are the way new. more lenient. And yeah, okay, so, it's like, only, so it's a plus five. Yes. Yes. If we okay. use the regular rules, you're going to spend I, a lot of time naked. Yeah, I, 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 okay. if we use the regular rules, I would have run off screaming into the woods. Okay. Like, and just disappeared for a year. Oh my Jesus. god, Clemo, you fucking right. champion, Folks at home, dude. he just critical. <laughs> just critical. <laughs> Thank Perfect. you, Herod. Look, oh. the use um, of honor here, uh, it's not super questionable. Of course, fellowship for your comrades would have been more fitting, but here, in this moment, as your sword comes down, you have you are looking at gaining some personal honor single handedly engaging the three eyed giant as your companions stumble, fall back. Hang and on. We'll get to what happens with you in a minute, Kendrick. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like Owain, you're about to suffer some real bad wounds. We'll um, see. Let Harad have his moment here as he go goes forward any criticals. So give me your double damage dice, which I think is probably gonna be either eight or ten D sixes. Uh, ten d six. Great, awesome. Can't wait for this. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Oh, look at all those That's ones, a lot and of twos. ones and twos. Twenty four. That does not hurt him that much, actually. <laughs> you slash at him. It is a enormous, incredible, huge hit, and he shrugs it off. It's not even enough not, to make him great. test for anything. Not great. Yep. It's um, not... Oh, no, not, yeah, his knockdown is huge, yeah. Yeah, his knockdown I, is quite I, big. I was, I was thinking Dex, but yeah, he's a giant, like... Yeah, he's no size to be like 30 or something, right? Like, yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's going to yes. be like yeah. triple a horse. <clears throat> okay, Kendrick? Uh, I will fight defensively. <laughs> That's a good time to do it. It's a good time uh, so, to do it. So that would normally would give me a plus ten, uh, but because I'm melancholic, it gives me a only a plus five. All right. Well, did he did he fumble? He did fumble. You look honestly. It's basically magical for you. You mm -hmm. collide with him, and your sword bites into the wood and it fumbles out of his hands as a full your sword hits a full on real tree 
and you like like the impact of your sword hitting it causes it to just fall out of his hand. You go, like, well, uh, no, it's like he swings and it, like I don't, it's not even really a block. I just throw my sword up in the way, and it catches in the wood, and it drags me along, and my <laughs> weight and size twist the tree out of his hand. All right. So good news for you. He has to spend another round getting a second tree. <laughs> yeah. B- bad news for us. He's getting another tree. <laughs> Owain, you're back in this thing. I'd like the three of you to make your declarations. His declaration uh, with the lowest decks here is that he is getting a tree. All right. I am attacking with a sword. I am attacking with a sword. Also attack. Uh, you're fighting defensively again? Um, no, because he doesn't have a weapon, uh, so he can't attack anybody right now, so. Uh, let's, let's throw hands. I'd like to go Harad, Kendrick, Owain. I am rolling with his avoidance. That's failure. That is a success on your part. Go ahead and roll some damage for me, sir. He, like, tries to stumble back slightly. You hit 13. him, you collide with uh, some goat hides on his leg, and your sword blade is turned in the process. This is not enough to do any damage to him. Jesus. Kendrick, big rolls, big rolls. I fail. Please go ahead. Two you deal two points of damage to him. It is a minor blow. Owain, this is your moment. Passions? Um, uh, I haven't passed it. I mean, probably the only one I can really think of to me that fits his law to the Lord because we're out, we're out here defending his lands. I'll buy that. Okay. Okay, that does succeed. The dice buy it too. All right. Uh, so I will then sword him. Plus five. Hit at least. He shall. I could. I could critical. I could critical out of this. I could have. I didn't, but I could have. Uh, please roll your regular damage. Sorry. Still nice. just seven. Get through. I guess seven. <clears throat> he has a big ass tree. Yep. Mm-hmm. He sees Harad totally undamaged. Uh, Harad has put the biggest hurt on him. He's looking at Owain, very hurt. He's looking at Kendrick, who's messing around at his feet. He goes for Harad. You and him thrown down. What would all of you like to do? I'm guessing it's all swords all around. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So we're going to fight fight defensively. I will. I will fight defensively. That's a wise, wise move. Let's let's do that throw first. Uh, So, so it's your sword skill plus ten. Plus ten. But if you if you win, you don't hit him though. You just avoid being hit yourself. Okay. So and I get to use my passion on top of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, So it'd be plus fifteen total. Plus fifteen. Yeah. Uh, that beats him. You once more turn the blow. However, you do not toss his sword because he didn't fail. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said toss his sword. Toss his giant tree. tree. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know. Kendrick. Uh, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. 18. Just a little bit. You're just scratching away working, at this guy. Working my way up. Yep. Yeah, working, working, way, working your way. Oh, wait, this guy has basically totally ignored you since uh, since he hit you. With the me. Yeah, since he fucking nailed you with a boulder. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Another six. Another six, huh? Interesting, interesting. With all these small numbers, though, you guys are never going to get a knockdown and you're never going to get an injury on him. We need a crit, we need a crit basically. Yeah, you need a crit for sure. Uh... I've, I've I've got a ten percent chance of critting because I'm I'm rolling as a twenty one, but I think no one I think other other one else has a five percent chance to roll their exact skill. He's gonna go on Kendrick. Kendrick seems to be the weakest of the three of you. He's tested 
each of your strengths so far. Kendrick is the most murderable. Yes, the the one the one who disarmed him. Yeah, but you know he's getting a feel for how strong you are, sure, and you're, sure. you you are disheartened in his eyes. In, That's in true. Disimpassion. That's true. It's the e- you're the easiest target for him when you do your uh, full defense block. So That's he's going to throw hands with you. <clears throat> All right, I will uh, fight defensively. Oh well, fortunately, you won't be able to throw his sword away, or you won't. Uh... I, I, if you I win on you... sword with this, do you still? No, that's a, a tie. Break that's a tie. That's tie. a tie. As, as okay. I would break him or disarm him. Right. Uh, so let's see. I'm normally a plus ten. Well, ten, plus ten from defensive, but minus five from melancholic. Okay, you just prevent. Yep. Uh, Dod- his dodge to the swings. side. Harad, Owen, you guys can just go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, I'll do Harad's first. No. These are looking pretty solid. No and no. Gleemo, you are in. Uh, Owain, you also are completely unblocked. Both of you will deal your damage. I mean, ev- eventually we'll wear him down through just light wounds. But I did not. I got six. Yeah, all it takes is just one time. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're not wrong. The, 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 the longer we fight, the but I mean, you know, is that what, are same, you shouting that out loud? You're just like, the longer we fight, the better this goes. Tell, give me some battle dialogue here. <laughs> no, I think, I think, uh, uh, I, 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 I think it's the opposite is, is Kendrick is shouting, the, you know, the longer we fight, the, the bigger the chance that one of us will get killed. Yeah, you know, I, I think, I think, I think what I'm yelling is like, you know, he's going for you, he's going, you know, he's going for me, We're trying to direct like the attention towards whatever who needs to be acted defensively. He's going for Kendrick again. I you guys are doing the ambient again. NPC background dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> ting, 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 ting. <clears throat> uh, fighting offensively again, Kendrick? Yep. Good luck. Ooh, so close. Uh, he will hit you. Yep. You'll get your shield at least. Yep. You're going to need it. Yep. Because he a big boy. That's that's pretty mixed. I think that's a little less than average, I think. 30 damage. You take 14 from that then. Yep, uh, that is enough for a major wound for me, though. That exactly hits my threshold. Uh, What's your knockdown? Uh, My knockdown is 18, so it doesn't knock me down. Uh, You'll need to test dex, though. Yeah, because uh, cause the, the damage before your armor is more. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. Um, but it's right, not double your knockdown, it should be an instant knock. Yeah, correct. Um, I'm just recording my. Uh, I was a 14 wounds. Yes. 14 wounds. Armor stove in by the three eyed giant south of Figsbury in 486 AD. X. You, you stay on your feet. Succeed. At some point, the giant gets smart to your sword fighting techniques and realizes that he's taller than you, uh, and that if he uses the tree to sweep the leg, he's really just sweeping your entire torso. It just yeah. collides with <laughs> yeah. you. He stops, not like, he stops playing whack-a-mole. Yeah. Just, you know. He stops using vertical attacks and he uses area sweeps. And it's extremely effective. You yeah. feel something in your body break that probably you needed to remain intact. Uh, you are still alive, and you are still up. You are also pretty badly beaten. How many hit points do you have left? Uh, I have 18. You could take another hit like that. Yep. I don't want to, but you could. You could. Yeah, yeah I didn't say you'd want to. <laughs> uh, Owain, let's go with you first. Okay. All right. So I will go ahead. Go ahead and critical. Continue. Continue. Go ahead and critical. Yep. Okay. Uh, no. No. But no. take your solid no hit. Parad, I also failed to evade do, you. Do five damage to you. I don't hit. Uh, is that impassioned? Yes. Okay. Well, oh, that's fine. Cause what's your sword skill? No. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. okay. Quite not good, huh? Uh. The swords continue to bite into him. Only one this time. He is bleeding heavily. It is not going super well for him. 
but he gets a huge hit on Kendra. Absolutely massive. Um. I'm gonna keep going on Kendrick, honestly. There's no reason to switch off here. Sure. What do you want to do? Fight defensively, perhaps? Uh, yes, I would like to continue to fight defensively. And in passion. Five is quite low. It's very low. He will hit. You will also hit, which means a tie, which means the tree is broken, I believe. No, no, so it, no it's a. Uh... Uh, oh, so, okay. so, so, I, so, so I don't get hit, I, but I also don't Correct. do any damage to him because I'm fighting defensively. Very well. The two of you, please make your... It's only, yeah, it's only on exact ties. Uh, Gleemo, oh. you hit. No evasion. Okay. And... Yes. I was really counting. I mean, this evasion is not high, yeah. but I was really banking on it. I was really banking on it. It's another five, another seven. <sighs> He is not doing well. This guy, this giant, is many cuts, many small attacks. He is starting to get enraged and stumbling, and looks like he's counting all in on Kendrick as like a berserk last attack. Does he have hate dying as a passion? <laughs> I hate dying. <laughs> All right, this isn't code Gears. Calm down, Kendrick. Fighting <laughs> defensively again? Fuck like, yeah, dude! I'm definitely not not fighting defensively. Oh no! All right, well, he just fumbles. Okay. Well, loses another tree. The run away eventually. There's only yeah. so many trees in Britain. <laughs> Surely we'll kill him before he deforests the whole island. Uh, that is a success. And uh, you will also get success, although I think Owain may get a killing blow here, and he does. Uh, Harad, you stab a already dying, mortally wounded giant. Excellent. Uh, let me just mark down here. Important question, though. Is the goat okay? The goat seems... Okay ish. Let's see here. First off, the immediate problem for Kendrick is that as the adrenaline leaves his body, you shakily fall to the ground, sobbing. Mm -hmm. You're in that you're in that deep Hikiko Mori depression where you're just like, what what is the purpose of friendship with these men around me? Why live? Um, why why live? I am going to perform some first aid on both uh, Kendrick and Owain, if I, I see. might. I see. Now, before you do this, I want to have you hold on, because you would know yeah. that if, if someone is in a melancholy and they are disturbed by a man, they will fly into a rage and try to kill well, them. Well, if, if you try to sack them out of it, yeah. But you can still leave uh, them It just says, man. if disturbed, which is not well, the same thing as melancholy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and so it's like, if if disturbed, I fly into a rage, and then they have to try and snap me out of it before I fucking murder them. Yes. Harad, right. you would know that this just happens tonight. So it's just a thing that happens in this time period. It's totally okay. normal. I mean, I think, like, like uh, Kendrick is, like, kneeling there, like, his, you know, like, his arms limp at his sides, but, like, his hand on his sword hilt is, like, gripping it and, like, slackening and then gripping it tightly again as he, like kneels there sobbing you know having seen his life flash before his eyes you want to go to Owain first perhaps let's to get take care of Owain in? first and okay, then I'm going to read, roll read the, the section about how to so get someone out of melancholy yeah. <laughs> yeah. good plan good plan uh, so oh no right. I'm so oh. sorry I take, I, take, oh, I take D3 wounds oh, you Jesus. do it's amazing please yeah. roll that Harad uh, he, uh, Gleema has fumbled, critically fumbled for a stand. I take oh. three more wounds. I'm sorry, man. You get, you get in there and you're just, you're just trying to balance his humors out. And, uh, as you do, a, the area is covered it in a brief gust, which brings with it rose petals. And at the top of the hill, 
You see a figure in white and gold robes carrying a strange staff going <laughs> Just like a super weird, very fake laugh. Um, it's Merlin, the court wizard. Master Wizard, uh, my companions, I think, could use some help that's beyond my skills, if you have the time. Well, Kendrick needs surgery. That's a major wound. A cloud of fog and smoke surrounds him. And then, as that fog dissipates, there's no one there. He steps up from behind the giant and goes, Okay. Merlin just waves his staff. Owain, all of your wounds disappear. And Kendrick, you are no longer melancholic and all of your wounds disappear as well. Ooh. Okay. My thanks, good sir. Sir Harad. You know, if I see you, you should help someone. We had a conversation like this, I recall. Perhaps we do? Indeed. Okay, good, good. Okay. Wait, when did Berlin get here? A moment ago. Yes, I was the old man with the goat. That's my goat. I disguised myself with magic. Huh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. You still want the goat? Of course, my goat. Why wouldn't I want my goat? I gotta try and secure the goat. Okay. The goat just stands there placidly. You, you're like trying to secure it. The goat just looks at you like, what are you doing? Okay. Well, just to let you guys know, this next part's gonna be a little rough. If you just wanna come with me, you'll do. We'll do And then what? he turns and just starts walking deeper into this <laughs> copse of woods. Oh, Merlin. I better follow. I think it would be a good idea. Yep. Yeah, he's Very the king's well. magician. Yep. Yeah. I will After allow him. anyone who wants to to make an awareness or fairy lore roll as you head into this forest. Uh, it's the same skill with the way for me, so I'm going to roll fairy lore because I can. That is a critical for me. So close, uh, but not quite there. Yeah, go ahead and check. And check fairy lore as well, Owain. Okay. Uh, Owain, you detect around you that the forest is shining rather strangely. Kendrick, for you, this is a fairy forest. And more importantly, you're, you're moving away from Salisbury and you're moving into someplace else. You have ridden past this you know, you've ridden up and down this road from Serendip to Plain several times. There's no way the forest at this part of the woods extends this far south. Like, you know, it's a very small copse, and you're just like, where are these trees coming from? They do, yeah. This does not exist. We're in the shadow, <clears throat> though. Okay, 5e, get out of here. Get out. <laughs> get out. Um, I think uh, Kendrick will come alongside uh, Owain and, and say... Uh, I don't think we're in Sarum, or I don't think we're in Salisbury anymore, my friend. No, this feels like this is a fairy forest. Well, you should leave your horses with your... You already did that part. Hmm? We'll it's go, rare we'll have to, to have this happen in this order. Okay. We'll have to go flog the um, squires later for not keeping an eye on the old man. What? No, don't do that. <laughs> I, I just want to be clear. I am the old man. I, I know, I know, but clearly you got away from them. I'm joking. They'll okay. be fine. But, I didn't realize you had such a humor, Sir Owain. Uh, was it made clear to me? Uh, well, uh, and he just stops walking, and he just points his staff and says, "Okay, halt, and uh, you know, protect me from what." Out of the brush rides a man with two swords on a horse, and they're both made of like a slimy green dark color, but there's like, it's like they're dripping, the man and the horse. 
are both dripping as if they're made of like swamp water. <clears throat> Disgusting. The green man charges forward and Merlin goes, oh, just do your job now. As he just starts backing away from the three of you. <laughs> All right, I guess we will do said job. <clears throat> oh, my sword. Back to him. Oh, da, 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 da. what do I want to do here? <laughs> I'm declaring attacks on all of you. Uh, and it's it's mounted, correct? It is mounted. It has uh, two swords, and it is mounted. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what, what I mean by that is, it, is it gets a bonus against us. It does. It gets a reflexive plus five against you, and you get a minus five against it. Uh, uh, not great. Not great. Not great all around. Uh, we'll go in glory order for this. Owain, you're first. Okay. He's going to do sword on Owain and sword on Kendrick, and the horse will attack Harad. All right. Let's, um, let's do it. I am trying sword then. Can, well. can we call upon passions? Absolutely, please. I think I, I can't think of it. Like, I, I don't. I'm not confident that I'm necessarily doing the Lord. My, you know, my Lord's work here. I don't, I don't think anything I've got really applies here. <clears throat> if one, if some one of my friends rich, maybe I'm worried about fellowship. But at the end of the day, nothing I think really fits. Mm. You know, I mean, I, Merlin I, I, just I showed I, up out of nowhere and was like, "Hey, follow yeah. me, guys." Yeah, I don't know if this is honor or I. I, I, I like. Ken, sorry, Owain doesn't feel connected to any of his passions in this thing. He's just doing what he's been told by the king's magician. So very well. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's roll down. I miss. Uh, that is not a critical, but he does hit. So knowing what this is, are you sure it's going to mount a bonus? Because it's not actually mounted. It's just a. It's one creature. I. Like it, it's, it's, might the be it's, the, yes. it's, the, it's the form of a rider and a yes. uh, okay so so yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. In which so case, you my, would still my... hit and he would also still hit and beat you but, but yeah. he'll beat me but you get your shield yep. yeah I'll take that extra shield yeah. yep nineteen okay so I'll take three three wounds but that is enough to cause me to make a um uh, a dex check. This is not the time to be like, falling uh, down. Oh, oh yikes, yikes, down. yikes, 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 yikes. Not great, not great. Uh, Kendrick. Uh, I'm next in glory. He, oh, yeah, you're next in glory. Right. Next so, glory. Yeah. Or, sorry, the horse is attacking you. Yes. Horse. Did you want to call upon any passions? No. No, I'm just... Well, I can't, can't do worse. No. Uh, Ty... You cannot disarm the horse, unfortunately. Well, it's, it, it, it's, it's effectively sword on sword, so nothing happens. Uh, technically, this is a club attack. Okay. So I believe still nothing happens because there's well, nothing to disarm. He chops. Well, it, it, were they were they they were like wooden sort the wooden swords. It's the horse is acting as if it does a club. Damage. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. It's the, it's I mean, the horse, not the I'm swords. happy to say you chop one of the horse's legs off and it regrows in front of you out of swamp water. Yeah, and sure. you're yeah. like, what the fuck is happening? <sighs> but, yeah, that for sure happens. Uh, Excellent, Kendrick. Um, Will you call upon passions in your darkest hour. <laughs> Having dodged um, melancholy by the use of magic, yeah, by having Merlin go, oh hey, Bop. <laughs> um, hmm. I, I like, I mean, the only one that I think even tertiarily fits would be loyalty to Lord, but if that's really more like homage Uther, but I don't think we've, we've yeah, had I feel that. like homage Uther would be what matters, and I don't think you have that yet. Yeah. Um, because uh, uh, like we your lord has Uther. nothing to do with it. I mean, this is happening in it, what happened with the giant happened in Salisbury. You're not in Salisbury right now, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna uh sort it up. Okay, let's uh clash. That is a critical, that is not a critical. You are about to get rolled over, my friend. This might be one of the biggest hits of the night. Damage roll looks kind of medium. That's oh, 41 damage. God damn. Yeah. Uh, you will okay. get your shield, so you'll take uh, 25. 
Yep. That is uh, definitely a major wound. Does it take you below your, your, um, if you're knocked um, down as 18, you are instantly dropped to the ground. Yes, it is. Um, Alongside a wave. Where's my unconscious? So let's see here. So I, I, so I took 25. Yes. Yeah. Which should only make knocking unconscious regardless because you don't have to make a, every time you take a major wound, you've got to make a D20 uh, on yes, the damage am, you took. I am unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cliffhanger moment. Harad, you are the only one left standing. Owain, you're on the ground, right? Yep. Harad, you're the only one left standing against a dude riding a horse. You chop the horse's leg off. Hey, the horse seems fine as it grows it back. This guy's got two swords and a horse that's viciously attacking. Uh, you're you're it. Kendrick is just out immediately. Kendrick gets like hit in the arm and like blood spurts out real quick like movie style and you're like oh that cannot be good like it's quite bad we'll be back for the end part of this very shortly uh james i would just suggest that you take a look at how the fighting defensively on the ground rules work or <laughs> make some really good decisions and then <laughs> when we come back uh we'll have a little dream sequence with kendrick when we return as well so stick around uh, I'll also take bets in the Twitch chat as to what happens next. Welcome back to the final part. Kendrick, you are currently in one of the Call of Duty Battlefield story campaign. You've been knocked out. You know, no, your red, vision is red grayed vision. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can hear my heart beat in my ears. You can also hear the clash of like sword on sword in the background. As you're looking, you look out, you see Merlin. He's behind the group. He's just walked onto a barge. It's just like the barge is just floating onto the water for no apparent reason. There's no barge man. He's not moving it. There's no water current. The barge is just moving while he's standing on it. It's all very mystical and weird, but also you're dying. So yeah. Well, yeah. You know, a uh, 41 damage sword head will do that to you. <laughs> even, even when you're as big as I am. Uh, let's get back to fighting what some would call a Nuka Levy. Uh, Owain, Harad, he's just going to go ahead and declare sword, sword. Why not each uh, of you? I will fight defensively while starting to stand up. Very well. Uh, so I think he will, he will that get a, cancels out your... No, so I'll get a plus five, but he'll get a plus five as well. So it would be a minus okay. five, plus five, but the, the, then, the, then the plus ten that I get will make me a plus five to his plus five. Let's start with Harad, then. Let's see who's... Right. Let's start with the guy who's going to be doing some damage here. Let's <clears throat> do some big numbers. He criticals again. Jesus and I Christ. fumble again. Uh, oh my it's God. sword on sword. So uh, oh, is there die. a critical to fumble? Oh, this um, means that no, he won't get to use his shield. He won't okay. get a shield. Yeah, he won't get a shield and you critical him. That's incredibly yeah. bad for you. Okay. Yeah, that, that probably kills me. All right, Greg Stafford is out here literally rolling at his grave as this happens. So so here's the thing. This is exactly what happened when I ran Pendragon for my group. I murdered, uh, I think, two <laughs> knights here. Yeah, so you'll take 23 damage 22 after your wounds. armor. Yeah. Is that a major uh, wound for you? That is a major wound. Well, then you automatically the unconscious because it's over 20. Well, he he's not automatically unconscious. He if he goes under his unconscious, he's unconscious. No, no. If you if you take a major wound, you have to make a test against the amount of damage you took. Right. Yes. And if well, you fail that, you're unconscious. Yeah. So so it's basically like the, the amount of oh, so no, the amount damage you, you got have. left. The amount of damage you got left. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Got left yeah. Right. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I have seven hit points left. Okay, what's your what's test. your unconscious value? Uh, but, but, it's under under uh, seven. At the seven. Uh, so you are unconscious. Yeah. Oh, Wayne. All right, Let's so I'll make my do this. He, so he gets plus Oop. five to his roll. Sorry, I uh, I hit up enter and I reroll damage. Didn't need that. Uh, that is a hit, but not a critical. So you'll hit. Uh, that's I, yeah, success on success, correct? Yeah, but he's got a higher success number. Yes. Yep. I'm just making yeah. sure for purposes. Uh, it is a success. On a success, yeah. you get your shield because shield. you succeeded. Yeah. Just yeah. listen. I 
I'm trying not to kill you. Probably. Wait, doesn't he get a minus five? So that wouldn't be a. Uh, no, you said the plus 16 five. was a crit for me. Yes, he got a plus five. On yeah, it, so a success, five, but five. not a crit. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I, that doesn't get through my armor and shield, but I still need to make a, a check to avoid being knocked down by it. Indeed. Which I fail and go down again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Karat, as you are in your Call of Duty Battlefield single player campaign, uh, stunned condition, you turn and watch as Owain stumbles to his feet and then is driven down again by a sword. Uh, Owain, it's a very Final Fantasy uh, Odin situation you find yourself in. As this guy uh, straightens up, holding his one of his swords out, preparing to slash it on you, the horse rears back. There's like a column of lightning that appears behind this guy as he is preparing to just attack you. All right. Um, I probably shouldn't, but I I'm going to try and passion with love of family, not wanting to die, now having a, my own child. Good, yeah. <laughs> good call. Good call. <laughs> And I succeed. Woo! Okay. So I'm, I'm, still fine, I'm still fine offensive while trying to stand up. Uh, your passion is a level 16. So how much does this get you? It gives me plus five. Plus five. So, so uh, I've, right. I've, crit, I've crit on the I don't stand think up. I can match that. Oh, I get a plus well, you, five you, as well. But I do. Yeah, I, I'm uh, still uh, so 16, I would get a plus one of this to 18. So I, I succeed. I don't have a shield. Please deal your critical. No, I can't because I'm fine defensively while standing. Ah, well then, yes. You uh, you meet his blade clash and stand up. Uh, it begins to trot hesitantly you, around you. It you very dis easily dispatch the other two. Is there anything, because you did a crit, is there a disarm or anything? No. no. Okay. No. Uh, right. Yeah, it trots around you can't really like see a face in the helm yeah. but it's you feel you're being regarded and then it joins the battle once more with you okay what would you like to do i mean obviously I it's single attack continue to fight yeah uh success on a 14. Yeah, beat me so you gotta do damage and i'll stick up my armor and shoot. uh glimo your unconscious threshold is seven right and you yes. have seven hit points yes okay you are I'm okay. Sorry, you are you are not unconscious but he will he would need to make a roll below seven because yeah he yeah you do have point. to roll uh, yeah yeah you do you yeah. would have to roll a d20 one through it, it may behoove you just to stay down but uh you know so i took no damage and um stayed standing very well I rolled a one, so you I also are succeed. So you are, yeah. you are part of this round of combat. Then he is also attacking you. Let's uh, throw down. Then, but I would right. be, I would have been knocked down, though. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 You was... want to fight defensively while standing up? I will fight defense defensively while standing which, up. Which will be a plus five for you, but a plus five for him as well. Oh, okay. All right. So that's uh, can three total. Be the two. <laughs> No, no, no. I oh, no. <laughs> gotcha. But you will get, you'll get, you will get your armor and shield. You get your so. armor and shield, and he may oh, not even hurt you that bad. He hurts you um, real bad. I was gonna say it does. It doesn't matter. He he's one away from being unconscious. Yeah, so. it takes exactly seven, so he's on exactly zero now. Oh no, he's not negative. He's yeah, he's zero. not negative. <clears throat> you drop. Oh, and. Okay. I feel like you see Harad struggle to his feet heroically on the other side of him, <laughs> and the guy just like casually slashes and knocks Harad down. Harad yeah. like blocks it, but still like crumples under the weight of the slash. And it's just you and this creature again as it circles you. It is yeah. really desperately unharmed, honestly. All right, I hit. Okay, that does look like a hit. That does look like a hit, but oh, I hit better. It. You do, yeah. Just a little better. 13. Very average. I take one wound. And... Oh, not size. Screw fix. I stay standing. 
All right, we continue. I mean, I'm just trying to buy time for Merlin to do whatever he's doing, so. This guy is going to use both of his swords on you, so you will have to choose how you want to divide your attacks. So once you know how the knife really works, it's got, it has it one can attack make two attacks on a single okay. foe, and they are okay, made okay. separately, as if you were being attacked by two different opponents. Okay, well, I'll just have to split it equally then. Very well. So against the first one first will be one. then so I've, so I've got a skill of twenty one so I'll be I'll be an eleven and a ten then okay so the first one will be five uh, very easy hit. you are successful okay so I will deal not up to I think they get through his armor indeed and then the second one oh fumble fumble I hit okay. Might get a little bit of damage on it. Uh, yes, sixteen points of damage. Okay, so the first one should. If it's only got how much armor has it got? Five. Okay, then the twelve points would have still done seven as well. Okay, that sounds right to me. Okay, so it's taken seven and sixteen. Okay. It has taken a major wound based on your current hit yeah so let's see what that means for me because i have a ton of hit points so I'm it's got to roll a d20 under its under its remaining hit points it is impossible for it to have failed that yeah i'm not gonna bother yeah. uh anything else i need to know during major wound uh, it'll have to test for stat loss during the during win, next winter phase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're lucky, that's a really needed box. <laughs> yeah, I had to t the treasury needed box. Yeah, needs needs treasury. Uh, no, I, th I think is the is the is the stat loss only for mortal wounds, not major wounds? Maybe. Um, no, I mean, I think I I think it is still for for major major wounds. wounds. Okay. Yeah. So just for the folks at home, I literally unloaded two attacks on James in an attempt to get him to divide his forces. I didn't hit him, and he damaged me. Uh, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So on the first one, then quite be... lucky on your part. Quite lucky. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Yeah, but I've got to roll under eleven though. No, so you hit me. I don't, I don't get my shield. Okay. You're so close. Oh, that's brutal. Eighteen. Uh, so I will take eight damage. But no, you get you, you get your shield or I no, don't get my shield not. because okay. I failed. Okay. Okay. And I'm knocked down again. Ah. Okay. Second attack is still coming in. Yeah, so it's it's part of the same action though, so I still yes. I haven't fallen down yet. Eleven. Uh I I fail. Take so I take the full damage. Yikes. What's happened in the wrong order? A fourteen? Uh so I'll take four wounds from that. I'm down anyway, so there's no point rolling for that. So I'm still conscious. Singh is going to trot around you in a circle. Right, I'm fighting defensively while standing up. Okay. It simply allows you to stand up. Okay. You roll fairy lore real quick. Yeah, sure. It's a fail. Its motives are completely unfathomable. All right, let's get back to uh, get back to the swinging of swords. Yep, it's coming in with the left first. Eleven, uh, which I can only beat if I crit. How hard to critting? No, that's no, okay. I take, but I get my I get my shield still. Man, a wane. Take one yeah. wound. And I fall over. Take an attack. Okay. I, I, he wins again, but I yep. get my shield. Oh, yikes. That's uh, a big hit. <laughs> minus five. That might be enough to take me to unconscious now, I think. So 6, 10, 18, uh, 19, 20. No, I've, I can take one more wound before I'm unconscious. <laughs> This Herculean task of being knocked to the ground over and over again, continuously rising. What a night. 
What a knight. That said, however, he is going to attack you now that you're down again as well. I'm trying to stand up. Indeed. Uh, he's is he taking, is he taking two attacks? Yeah. He's taking two attacks while fighting. Okay. So yep. I've got then uh, 26 to divide, so it'll be 13 each. Okay. All right. Okay. okay so I, I blocked that one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I take that one. Take okay. Damage. Not, oh, unless you, unless you don't do any damage. But you, you've got to roll less than 10 to not knock me out. Nah, not with rolls like that. Jesus. No, Jesus fact, fucking Christ. I'll take 15. That will take me to absolutely dead. No no chance of surgery. Irwin no, has been killed. Take me to minus six. <sighs> All right. Uh, I need a DM loading tip here real quick. Let's see. Uh, let's go with 5e tips since I know those the best. Uh, talking while I'm scrolling to see what happens now. Uh, uh, partial cover can grant you plus 2 to armor class and to dexterity saving throws. That's it. That's the only one I can yeah. think yeah. of while I'm scrolling up here. Uh, da, 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 da. You're both unconscious, so you don't see what happens. The two of you wake up deeply wounded with a dead Owain. Um, okay. Uh, so I, I assume we have regained some hit points at some point. I think you've regained one hit point. Yeah. Um, I think, okay. uh, a rod just screams out, Merlin! Um, and Kendrick will crawl over to Owain's body. Um, and like cradle his head in his hands, or like like lift up uh, Owain's corpse into his like lap. Oh, he's boromiring so hard right now. Now that he's dead, yeah. he's got like this fair fairy light upon him that makes him look somehow more heroic. Mm Rod, you call out for Merlin, and no Merlins, indeed, no wizards at all appear. No druids. Can you can you walk, Harad? I can. Let's bear away and away from this place. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Kendrick and well, I assume with Owain's or uh, with uh, Harrod's help, lift Owain's body and walk back into the forest. Since, since uh, you both take a major wounds, any sort of travel will cause those wounds to aggravate. Yep. <clears throat> you find yourself spit out of the forest at the feet of your squires who begin eagerly helping patch you up. I'd like both of you to roll Squire Venus. They're just rolling against their age, which I think is... Uh, uh, 16 are we, now. Are we doing against age, or are we doing their first aid? Uh, you're doing their age. Okay. They're doing their duties. Yeah. Uh, they patch you up enough that you probably won't die while in motion. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> It should be noted that Gwent is basically like fully broken by this. Mm -hmm. So far in this journey, he has failed critically and then not been there when his master suffered mortal wounds in a battle. Does not reflect well on him. Your Procession uh, makes its way back, perhaps to Pitten, the closest manor to Figsbury. 
Yeah, I, I, well, the, or the uh, no, I, I actually think Laverstock is closer to, well. uh, to Figsbury. You travel as a group together in mourning. Uh, at some point, Owain is delivered back to his family for a proper burial. And I think that uh, Kendrick and Harad, your year here is probably at an end. I don't think you want to continue your patrol nor look for the meteor sword with uh, one <laughs> one hit point. Uh, no, not. Uh, I mean, I mean, well, eight eight hit points, but eight, hit points. Eight, eight plus whatever we got healed from the first aid. But yeah, no, uh, well, I have one. <laughs> I mean, te technically, Harad wouldn't even wake up until he's been in a coma for several weeks. Yeah. Until he, until he's naturally healed enough to get back to his. I feel like then what happens is you you at like the instant Ken Ken Kendrick comes walking out of the forest with two unconscious. <laughs> no, dead, I feel like the instant body. that Harad comes out of the fairy forest, he collapses at the feet yeah. of the squire and uh, Hebbies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, loads your ass up and takes you back to Laverstock for some healing. It is a dark summer for you, Kendrick. Your companions mm -hmm. defeated. The wizard Merlin nowhere to be found. No rewards for the noble sacrifice. You have barely dodged melancholy, and yet perhaps you are still drawn into melancholic thought about what it is to be a knight. Um, I would like to test... Uh, vengeful versus forgiving in regards to Merlin. In regards to Merlin? Very well, yes. please. I like this. Okay, vengeful succeeds. Okay, you seem pretty vengeful. Yep. Uh, forgiving is fair. So I would like to either take a directed trait or a passion of hate Merlin. Uh, you know what? Let's go with a passion of hate Merlin. Roll 3d6 okay. and also check vengeful. Nah, not strong enough. I'm sorry, it wasn't as strong as your hatred for Silchester. Yeah. <laughs> your events with Merlin, despite his healing you, he has repeatedly led you into weird situations where you and your whole party nearly die repeatedly with no I mean, explanation. Owain did die. Oh, uh, Yeah, Owain did die. He is very dead. Uh... It's rough. It's been a rough summer for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you are sent a letter of thanks from Earl Roderick for your service in your patrol and an indication that it will be continued by other knights. And he wishes you luck and success in recovering from this and that if you need anything, you need but ask. A similar letter is sent to Harad, which is read to you every day by your wife. Uh, while you're unconscious in a coma. <clears throat> Before we move to the Winter Court, I just want to know if Kendrick has any plots or plans. You could always still try to go for a, a wife or yeah, um, I think when, a plot. When he gets the um, when he gets the letter from the Earl, he will send a um, a letter back asking to be betrothed to Guiana. <laughs> You know what? Let's do that end of the year roll early then. Let's see if you can successfully end of the year roll. Yeah, courtesy. It's courtesy. Uh, she's not a random. She's not a random. I know. I just want you marriage. to make a courtesy roll with him. Okay. Uh, just to see if you can seal the deal now. Earl Roderick is a man. He's a man played by the guy who played Jack Aubrey in Master and Commander. Mm -hmm. He's a slightly foolish man in the way of easing people up, but he is not a fool. And he immediately goes to his wife and consults. Mm -hmm. uh, his wife detects sincerity in your letter, and your offer of betrothal is accepted and a wedding is scheduled for Christmas court at Salisbury. That it Fantastic. should be a, a affair, a Christian affair, of course, 
as your wife is Christian, the castle is Christian, and the land is Christian. Of course. <sighs> James, let's talk about Owain. You, yeah. I assume, have family members, perhaps, that you'd like to temporarily take over as regent? I'll have to, yep. Yeah. Uh, I have an alternative. Yep. Yeah. You could always play your wife, having reached the status of dame. Uh, I don't think you'd want to do that. Yeah, I don't think with um with the uh, like her precepts time... are not in not indicative. Pro yeah, pro yeah. yeah, not inclined to knighthood. Uh, yeah. do you have a particular family member you favor for this? Um, I mean, there is a uh, Wayne has a cousin which will turn twenty-one in the coming year. Very well. I guess we're going to learn a lot more about him at uh, Christmas. It feels like a good time to end here, so James can prep a character sheet and maybe a name and a story for next time around. I've, I've, I've got the name anyway, because I did the whole, remember I set the whole um, family yes. tree thing in oh, yeah. uh, Discord, yes, of course, yeah. Of course. So. Uh, <laughs> let's do a little post-mortem, not just for Owain, of course, but over this. This honestly is probably one of the deadliest combats you're going to face for a while. I think I mean, all of us I, that have run this before right. know that the Nuka Levy is literally like, yeah. Oh, I mean, look, if it hadn't, if it hadn't split its attacks, I like hadn't done the two attacks, I could have actually survived. Indeed, quite a bit longer. But once I started doing that, I had, yeah, I, I, I so many rolls that I just couldn't beat. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, no matter it, how well I rolled, it, it critting me in the first round didn't help. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, so like, like I said. When, when when we started that fight, like I killed two knights in that fight. I had six people fighting it. Like we had we had half that, and you know didn't do too bad. It's a rough one. It's a yep. rough one. I just yep. don't want Gleemo to think that this is going to be standard. <laughs> you know. Uh, also, the you were rolling really hot tonight, and That's true. I was not. Not during the giant <laughs> fight, but during this, during the nuke leave, yeah, I rolled pretty well. Well, we had our first character death. It got here a lot faster than Jasper Hiroka, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. See, this is, this is the thing that I don't like about doing a heavily scripted pre-written campaign like this, is that I'm just going to let you know, Gleemo, that this was the search for Excalibur. Uh, and that, should you have been successful, you would have watched Merlin draw the sword from the lake. Uh, and you know, that's like a big deal, and the player character should be there for it, right? But the boss guarding it, the double boss guarding it, are some, like, middle game, real serious deals. I mean, it's, it's, it's however many people are fighting it, boss. Yes. Because it can make unlimited, so it makes two sword extra swords and unlimited club attacks. But if it's only facing a single target, it can yeah, it, it, stab it doubles stab. up. Yep. Yep. And I, uh, you know, I had the boss trot around away for a little bit, but then I was like, it's you know, it's time, it's time to just start throwing, throwing haymakers out. Uh, it's rough. This is a rough system from time to time. Death can happen at any moment. Yep. Uh, how are we doing? I mean, I'm I'm doing okay. You know, uh, the RP is like that. Uh, you know, every every system that's based around BRP, like you could just die at any time. Like you don't you don't get new hit dice every every time you level. So, <laughs> James, you fought valiantly. You really yeah. tried quite hard. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just like like take a, like a lot of single small wounds, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's just that the last one happened. Like I said, the last one was enough to take me below the minus five threshold. From which I mean, even then, like even if I've gone to minus five, that still requires someone to crit a first aid roll and then two two threes on a on a two on a two d three to actually survive. But still, it's... I guess I better read the. Uh... 
death and healing sections of the of the so book I don't, again. I, 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 I never never even took a um, never even took a major wound. Um, I mean, except for the the, the the very the very final one was a major wound. That was it. Yep. Yeah. The very last yeah. one that killed you. Yeah. 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 And and so like that's the, that's another thing about uh, Pendragon is like, you know, J we we weren't in a situation where you could flee, but like when that starts to happen. And you take, you know, you take three here, five here, two here, you know, and you get worn down that you, that's when you, you know, think like, like, especially if it's in a battle, you go, ah, uh, maybe I should just, you know, fall back to the, fall back to the camp for a little bit. And, and yeah, not so fight someone, I, think, I think someone in chat said, you know, the only way to win this battle was to not fight it, but it's one of those sort of like mandatory pretty much encounters that you have to yeah. go through. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, it can def it can be super brutal. Yeah, I said I think the only I had when I ran it is that I started my group with the like the extra five years of the Uther campaign, which meant they had like you know five more years worth of experience. Uh, I still, still only a three person group, so, um, but yeah, they, they went into it with uh, uh, a lot more experience. Five more sword would have made some difference, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 We just really couldn't get a crit. Like we needed a crit. Like we just didn't get any crits on it, basically. Yeah. And, so. it, and it, but, but, it crit us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and our, our, only, our only crit chance was to basically roll our skills, so we had a five percent chance. Yeah. So. Audience, I hope you're doing okay. I feel like sometimes the audience takes character death really hard, so you know, I don't know what we could do for you. Seek out comfort resources, your local capybara if you've got one, uh, a cat or a dog if you don't, and you have one of those. Not my cat, of course. Uh, not a comfort cat. Still mad it threw up on me this week. Uh, yeah. Let's do winter phase next time, which is n two weeks. Uh, yeah, we don't have a chat this because so because you can't do the fourth climo. I can't. Yeah, I can't do the okay. fourth. The eleventh, I'm supposed to be doing like because that's the week of my birthday. I'm supposed to be doing a birthday function with friends on the eleventh. Uh, no, 11. I I also can't do the sixteenth, so it might be a while. But eighteenth, eighteenth, yeah, all right, eighteenth, yes. Oh boy, the next time that we is... meet is the twenty fifth. Yeah. Wow, well, audience, you're gonna have to to stew on this incredibly crushing defeat for a while. Yeah. Uh, if only there was some <laughs> other. Pendragon based inheritance show to salve your wounds. Like, oh, 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 is, is Earth of Minosa actually going to meet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually talking about Ticking Time Bob, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have, of course, continued to guess on Bonway, aka Ticking Time Bomb Gaming's uh, Sword of Victory. Uh, it's not changing names, it's no longer Sword of Victory. It's Age of Uther, because they're entering the Age of Uther. Uh, fall, fall of Uther. Fall, fall of Uther. Thank you. Fall of Uther. Uh, yeah, the, the age of Uther is over. The fall of Uther has begun. Uh, mm -hmm. I will be playing as always the incredibly upright, moral, uh, rock of Logres, <laughs> Duke Orlo, the non villainous, uh, uh, paragon of virtue. I d so I, I I'll never and... die, and I'll always remain young and in <laughs> love with this wife. Yeah, I, I went back and watched the feast episode that you were in. Yeah, and like oh my god, your speech about Saint Patrick, and you know, and I was like, Jesus! I took that from Brian Lee Mulligan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. We're getting the aisle right for the Lord, Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Listen, uh, I had planned to say something like that, and then uh, Bob needed someone to cover for him while he was doing something. I was like, okay, I got something. I got my anti-Irish speech. <laughs> yeah just for the folks at home i'm not anti-irish i'm a american of irish descent so <clears throat> but i do have quite a few anti-irish speeches prepared since the irish are the villains of this campaign uh one of one of the villains, one of the of villains. i mean we, you want me to also be the picks okay i can do that as well <laughs> uh i can do orkney which are just more southernly picks so, uh, so let me tell let me tell a story from my own Pendragon campaign here. Sorry, excellent. The so in this encounter, in my Pendragon campaign, when Merlin left with Excalibur, he didn't take the goat. 
So <laughs> the group decided, okay, we, we it, it must be a magical goat. We're going to take the goat home. So I did actually um, say, okay, whoever whoever has the goat gets plus one d six on their uh, like like effectively the, the, the weather improves for them by one d six each year. I'm and so they had this whole sorry, they had this whole thing where they were training the goat around from from manner to manner but then i also made them roll like for a horse death for the goat like eventually the goat would die and when and the goat died like four years later um and, and it was like they were they were, they were shattered like, like they, they, they they felt worse about the goat dying they there. love this goat. <laughs> yeah that's it yeah yeah so and that 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 um i don't know if you use facebook messenger but in facebook messenger you can change the like symbol to like a different a different mm-hmm. symbol than like a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. So for a long time it was the symbol of a goat. Uh, whenever, whenever someone had liked it, it was a goat. And and that 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 gif I put into Discord, it was the our standard one we'd always share whenever the goat came up in, in conversation. Amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one thought to grab the goat. So I feel like our final post credit scene is just the goat <laughs> at the top of the hill again, eating in the ruins of the manor, it's just walk back up there. There's no Merlin to have somebody go get it. It's just like a random super huge black goat. Since it's Marvel, though, it implies that this goat will have its own spin-off movie in the future. It's got an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> Goes up to Quentin is just like bah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, any post game announcements, stream announcements, life events? James and the Grim Dark Podcast YouTube is running a Blood Bowl campaign that Spoon and I are a part of. Uh, Spoon and Gleemo both feature in the Mega Mech Council videos, which are coming out, uh, which have had some mixed reception because it's a lot of text on screen. Mm hmm. <sighs> It is the recounting of our battles as we fight our way uh, against a super, super bad guy. A real bad dude. Yes. His name means pizza. Who we would never, ever work for. <laughs> <laughs> that storyline's not canon now. Oh, is it? Okay. Phase three? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess that's right. That was phase three, huh? Yep. <clears throat> We'll see if we get to phase two. We'll see. We'll see. If, if you want any more, uh, yeah, any more I, I, VA well, work. you know, I'm um um getting ready to do episode two script. Okay. Uh, it's like written out, but I got to decide how I want everything to look, and uh, we'll get you to voice your own dialogue for that. Sure. Of course. Again, anyone got any projects to announce? Like Glimo's clap. Ugh. Ugh. Craft stream tomorrow yes and throughout yeah. the week can, 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 can we can we call it like craft hour with gleam you can call it craft hour with gleam wow incredible um, what a name yeah so i will be uh getting everything ready for uh for mardi gras i'm actually not around next weekend because i've got to start doing uh float loading uh and getting everything together and then uh, the the eighteenth is our is is my group's parade, so I will be a little busy during the normal time of Pen Dragon. Just, just the time, just you, you can take a laptop, right? <laughs> they've got they've got Wi Fi. We already did Gleemo from a fucking plane. We don't need to do <laughs> we this. Again. We, then we can get Gleemo from, from a Mardi Gras float. Car, we did Gleemo from a plane. We don't need Gleemo from a fucking Mardi Gras float. First off, that's a. There's gonna be some Twitch. I know fucking Baton Rouge. There's gonna be some some Twitch DLS for sure. Breaking shit for real. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) We would would need more than just the NSFW warrants flag or the 18 plus flag on the channel. Oh man, incredible! (laughs) All right, Uh, yeah. I guess I'll see everybody in like three or four weeks yeah. for the oh, winter I'll phase. See, I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, Arthur. Okay. I said I will see what, everybody. What, what's that? Generic Fantasy Adventures? Same time here tomorrow? I, I heard a rumor. <laughs> uh, there's also the Patreon meeting. I guess as long as James is going to continue to try to, to dab on me, uh, which he'll almost certainly attend since he usually does. Uh, that's it. Audience at home, 
have a good time zone. We'll see you in three to four weeks. Could be, could be. And, uh, you know. Sorry about it, Wayne. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm mournful. I don't know that I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. I don't feel like I did anything wrong. I just rolled some <laughs> dice. <laughs>